What is going on guys, 2.0 here and in today's video I have another 10 legendary engrams to open for you guys. So let's get straight into opening these and seeing what we're going to get. I believe we have quite a few leg armors so we will start with those. So we're getting Bogwild 1.0, um, a Coyote's Lock uh, Artifact, Vermilion Strike 1.0 and then Asprite 1.1. We'll go to the Gauntlets, Bogwild 1.0, Kalia Plus Grips, uh, a Nearing Compass as the Artifact, the Chess Piece, Asteroid 1.0, and then we have two Heavy Weapon Engrams. So we're getting a Machine Gun, and then the exact same Machine Gun. So we actually leveled up our Crypt Arc as well, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And we will open up the two Blues, just in case we end up getting something nice. And we didn't. So, 284 on our Crypt Arc. We'll go ahead and look at the blues first. So, a Cloak at 264. That can go. And then, what was the other blue? I thought it was a chest, but... Oh, no, it was an uh, auto rifle. Um, 284 can go as well. So, we'll do the weapons last. They're, they always seem to be the most interesting ones. Uh, the Coyote's Luck Artifact. 295 defense. Solar precision kills against minions of the darkness have a chance to generate an orb. And then the Arnearing Compass Artifact, again at 295. Arc Grenades have a chance to generate an orb when killing minions of the darkness. Then our Leg Armors, we got Bogwild 1.0, 58 Discipline, 58 Strength. Increases the amount of Shotgun Ammo and increase Agility for 5 seconds after a Solar Double Kill. Vermilion Stripe 1.0, 64 on the Intellect, 59 on the Strength, that's a pretty high roll. Increase the amount of Shotgun Ammo and then increase Agility for 5 seconds after Solar Double Kill. Then Asteroid 1.1, 63 Intellect, 60 Discipline, increases the amount of Sniper Ammo and increases Agility for 5 seconds after Solar Double Kills again. Then the Chest, Asteroid 1.0, 60 Intellect, 65 Strength, increase amount of Hang Cannon, increase Recovery for 5 seconds after Solar Splash Damage. And then the two Gauntlets we got, Bogwild 1.0, um, increase Melee Attack Speed, which I love, increase Relay Speed with Pulse Rifles, which I love, very good Gauntlets there. And then these ones, the Kalia Plus Grips, new monarchy ones, increase grenade throw distance and increase reload speed of scout rifles. I really don't like increased grenade throw distance, so I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle those now. But I'm very happy with those. Could be a bit higher on the defense, but the upgrades are perfect for me. And then lastly, the heavy weapons we got. Um, what's that called? Diluvian, Diluvian 10 slash Force X. Um, we got both of them as that. We got a 294 arc damage one and a 271 void. So the void one, this weapon gains a boost to the range and handling when the health is low and kills the weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. And then the arc one, the weapon has bonus accuracy whilst firing from the hip and aiming increases the weapon's effective range. So overall not too bad, we leveled up our crypt art, we got some very nice gauntlets. Um, these LMGs actually look pretty cool. And then there are some leg armors that I will be testing out and having a look to see if I want to infuse them up because I do have 319 on my leg armors at the moment. But yeah guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the loot I got. It does take me a very long time to save up 10 legendary engrams to make these videos for you guys. So if you could, please leave a like as it really does help me out. Subscribe if you're new around here as I don't load daily Destiny videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.